Hi everyone, my name is Nelson Pizarro and I'm super excited for you guys to either watch or listen to Life in a Wine Bottle. This is my first podcast YouTube channel that I've made and it's basically an in-depth look of how and what it takes to create a bottle of wine. Before we move forward, let's make sure we like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Our handles are at Life in a wine bottle. So let's move forward to our first topic, which obviously I assume everybody wants to know a little bit about my background. Um, I am a family man. I've been married for about 12 years with my beautiful wife, Cassie. We have four amazing children. The oldest is nine, which is Daisy. Then it goes Ezekiel seven, Jasmine six, and Hazel three. I hope I got that right. If not, sorry. Um, I had a business degree from Lincoln Memorial University, which is a little east of Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, that's where I met my beautiful wife, Cassie, at. We had a soccer scholarship there. So we both are, are super competitive, um, athletic, and uh, we enjoy playing soccer. I was an ex-professional soccer player. I played for a couple of years, so I'm very proud of that. That was a big dream and goal of mine that um, I was able to accomplish. Uh, and Prior to the soccer, I turned into an entrepreneur as well. I helped build a company with my father, which is called Ecostatic Inc. And we manufacture a product called Slicky Notes, which is a glue-free sticky note. And yes, we are inventors of it. So I can put that little hashtag on my name as well as an inventor. So that's kind of fun to say. And lastly, but not least, I am a youth soccer coach. Um, at a local club here in San Diego called Surf, San Diego Surf Soccer Club. I have a great time doing that and I'm able to give back that way, uh, whatever I learned from, from my previous experience with soccer. So just to remind you, uh, just to give you a little bit of rem back, that little background there, I never said anything or I never talked about anything that related to wine, literally zero. Believe it or not, I actually don't drink wine. But we'll go on to the story in the next episode. I do make wine here at Castelli Family Vineyards. Um, I manage a vineyard as well with my father-in-law. But we'll go. That's a different story. And I, I believe you guys will enjoy that one as well. So I've been doing wine for about 12 years now, ever since we got married. Uh, from planting the vineyard and, and seeing it grow and producing grapes, making wine, bottling it, labeling it, corking it. And at the end of the day, trying to sell it to the consumers, which is always the hardest job at any product that you're trying to sell. So I'm pretty fortunate because uh, I can say that I love what I'm doing and I'm passionate about it. I enjoy making wine, growing grapes. Um, selling it to consumers and just really seeing them say, wow, this is amazing wine. Even if you don't drink this, I don't know how you're making this. And the other part is uh, I'm a soccer coach. So I'm able to do what I love, found something else that I'm enjoying and I love and I'm passionate about doing. And I'm around my kids a lot. So it's a, it's a huge plus. I know the COVID-19 is making us stay closer to my kids, but Prior to that, I've been around my kids a lot more, and I'm very blessed and grateful for this opportunity. All right, before we move forward, let's make sure we give a big shout out to the one and only Castelli Family Vineyards. They are our sponsor. They sponsor this podcast, the YouTube channel. So here it goes, Castelli Family Vineyard, where you can taste the love of the wine. So make sure you check them out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Castelli FV. And on Facebook, it's you just like them, Castelli Family Vineyards, it should pop up. So let's move on to our next topic. Why? Why did I create life in a wine bottle? Well, I don't know how many times people will come into the winery um, and ask this specific question. And also when I'm in, in the public, just at a soccer game or just, just talking to random people, they'll say, what do you do for a living? Well, I coach soccer and I also make wine. They said, Oh, that will be my dream. I'll love to live on a winery. I'll love to make wine. I'll love to put my name on a wine bottle. Uh, create that. You know, they, they just they feel the sense of love that it took to to make this one bottle. So 
I I was thinking to myself, why why wouldn't I make a channel like this? This will be kind of fun, and then I'll start learning a little bit more. Another reason is wine lovers and people in general general are fascinated about the wine. It just it's just something that just they're like, this is amazing. I how many people it, did it take to make this bottle? How many bottles come out of a barrel? How do you cork it? Do you do it by hand? How do you create this label? Who created the label? Where do you get the grapes from? Uh, what region? I heard this was the best vintage. So you'll start getting those topics. I'm like, well, let me see if I can kind of put it on all in one show and help guests or new wine lovers or old wine lovers to keep on um, learning and educating themselves. And the last reason obviously will be, I kind of fell in love with making the wine. Um, I, the whole process of how, it, my, my biggest part is I enjoy planting the grapes. I know I told you I, I don't drink. So that's always a big thing like, oh, you don't drink. It's like eating from a chef that's skinny, right? You don't, you don't trust them because it seems like they don't eat, but it, it's just kind of, a, it, I don't want you to think that way either. I, I don't drink just for personal reasons. I just enjoy the whole process. I love planting the vineyard. Obviously, it's a big labor of love. It isn't something that's gonna happen right away. It takes years and time, and obviously finances to kind of invest in this vineyard. But I just enjoyed making wine. I, I, I started learning from great people around me, and they always said, you know, don't chins out on just doing it fast. Do it the right way, and wine takes time. So anytime you open up those bottles, you always say, wow, it took, you know, years just to make, the, to just to grow grapes. And now I'm here drinking something that um, generations passed down that you can drink from 40 years from now. So that's the biggest reason that I, I want to create this channel. And the, the, another reason will be, I just want you, the wine lovers and, and new wine lovers, I want you to kind of learn and, and teach others and also I can get educated as well whenever I bring in guests. So it's a good little part for me to kind of expand my horizon, help out my community, and, and the way I'm learning as well with everybody else. So that's basically the biggest reason why I created Life in a Wine Bottle. So let's do another quick little shout out. Um, Castelli Family Vineyards Chardonnay. This wine is a 2018 vintage that they say and the ones that don't know what vintage is, it's just the year that it was actually picked. So this was in 2018, we picked it. And the Chardonnay was, um, I will say it will be pineapple citrusy taste, very bold, um, big mouthfeel, uh, but smooth taste with a pinch of honey to it. So this will be a good pickup. This is about... Uh, we're selling this. We're doing a special for this month. It's going to be $205 for a case of wine, which, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's getting hot outside. Uh, you can get this. For, it's basically $17 for a uh, hand-picked bottle of wine. So if you guys are interested, make sure you leave a comment or follow us or send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at Castelli Family Vineyards. All right, so make sure you check this out. So moving on. All right, so my, this show is going to be a little bit shorter than typical because obviously I don't want to just keep on talking and there's no kind of interaction with anybody else. But the show, what I'm going to do with the, the I'll give you a little bit of background about the show. We're going to do, or what you're going to expect on the show, uh, better say, we're going to have basically, I'm going to start bringing in guests, guests from the wine industry or just like I said, that they didn't know anything about wine, just bring them in. Hey, what made you want to buy a vineyard? Or what made you want to plant a vineyard? What, what's going behind your mind? Why would you recommend somebody make plant a vineyard? Or why would you tell them, no, don't even plant it, you're crazy, right? Um, the finance side of it, what does it cost to build a vineyard per acre? Um, the labels. So I'm going to start bringing in experts and talk to them, pick their brains, learn a little bit about them, kind of spread their word that way and help each other out. And the more people that enjoy the wines and see what it really takes to build a wine, it, it will help them out. And, and now that I'm looking at the Chardonnay, 
Um, I just want to remind you that this Chardonnay, it's, I would say it's the best Chardonnay that Castelli Family Vineyards ever made. Um, and you know, you hear that all the time, but to be honest, this is the best one. And the reason why is because it's actually the first one we ever made. <laughs> so, I mean, we got nothing to compare it to, <laughs> to our vineyard. So this is a, the first Chardonnay that we made. So make sure you try to take, uh, you, you try it out when you get a chance. Um, so like I said, we're going to bring in different guests, uh, around the world or just locally or uh, in a different state, but I just want to kind of pick their brains, learn a little bit about what makes them so special. Um, what do they do different? How can we improve in our area? Uh, why, why is this bottle so, so amazing? You know, what, why, why do we want to purchase this bottle? Right. And how to make. I guess new wine lovers not feel uncomfortable in thinking that this is a very like pristine realm that only the rich and famous can purchase a bottle of wine. No, I, I want this to be a, a great experience, a fun experience. We can laugh about it. Um, I, I like to make jokes, so I hope I hope you guys laugh about it. Because if not, you'll hurt my feelings. Just joking. Um, so th that's basically what the whole podcast is going to be about. So the goal is to teach you, educate you, learn something new about life in a wine bottle. At the end of the day, I believe it's not just tasting the wine, but the biggest, the biggest outtake of wine is you're going to open this bottle or you're going to open a bottle that you have at your house. And you most likely, most likely you won't open it by yourself, but maybe you will, some of you might, but you will open this bottle and you'll say, Every time you pour it, you have another story to tell your friends, your family. Oh, I remember Nelson talked about this. Or I remember this winery spoke about how these were the only grapes that were grown here. And we almost lost everything. And we produced only a couple cases of this uh, specific varietal. And these stories are kind of great memories. And all the memories are inside this bottle. And as soon as you open this bottle, as soon as uh, and you pour it, you're going to kind of have the memories kind of pour out to everybody else. And you just start building great memories within your family and, and friends. So that's why I feel like wine is so special, a little bit different than typical uh, beverages. But I, I believe that we'll have a fun time with the show and we'll grow it that way. So I... Uh, Make sure you like us. Make sure you comment on us. You can send me a direct message saying, no, so I love the show. Or, hey, can you have this one person in the show? And I love feedback. That's, you know, my go-to there. Um, I have thick skin, so don't worry about that. Just let me know what you think you'll love to hear. And I'll see if I can find the right people and start talking to them and, and building relationships. And then hopefully bringing them on the show. So that'll be the great part um, that we can have on the show. And also, I'd like to thank you guys just for listening and all the support that we had from this venue from the very beginning. Uh, we just had a huge reach that, that customers are just, they didn't be, they, they're not customers. They ended up becoming fa friends and family friends. And that's the only reason why is because of wine. They're enjoying the wines and they start growing and then you start building a relationship and you see who they are, their families, what they work in. So it's basically, like I said, the life in a wine bottle. So next time you open up a wine bottle, you're going to remember or you're going to tell those amazing stories of what it took to make this bottle. Okay, so don't ever forget that. And last but not least, um, I'm going to kind of give you a little preview on the next episode since we're finishing up. Uh, the next couple episodes, I'm going to obviously have... I guess I have to have my father-in-law make sure if you're watching the channel, don't look at his nose because he's pretty embarrassed of his nose. He has a big nose. Um, but you're going to have, I guess I got to call him Mr. Castelli. So he's on the show. and We're going to talk a little bit of uh, what made him want to build a uh, plant a vineyard, have me part of it. And what is he looking to do in this next coming years with the, the winery? Um, so that'll be one person. I have a good friend of mine, Don. He, he's been with Gallo for, I don't know, I think over 15 years, 20 years with Gallo, I believe. And he's a sales rep here in San Diego. 
So he's going to give us an insight of what it takes to get into those Walmarts and big box stores and what's going on with the COVID-19. Is it hurting them, helping them? Um, so we're going to pick his brain a little bit. And also, um, I was fortunate enough by Instagram, social media, to get connected with one of the top 100 wine bloggers um, that she will be on the show. And I'm not going to tell you her name just yet. So I just want to make sure you, you listen to the next episodes. So, uh, and she has a great insight. She's been around and she's been talking to a lot and she's been tasting a lot of wines. So um, I, I hope you guys can stay, stick in to, for the next episode, and which will be happening every Friday. And I'll post it in the dates in the morning time. And then I'll try to get it to all the podcast links like Apple and Spotify. Uh, Pandora, I believe, has it. So I'll get connected to that. So make sure, very important, uh, Instagram, like us on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, our handles are at Life in a Wine Bottle. The same with um, Facebook. You can go check us out there. If you can't find us, you can also find us through Castelli Family Vineyards or at Castelli FV. And that's basically it. That's our show. I'm really grateful and thankful that you guys are watching and look forward to seeing you guys for the next episode. And have a great day. And thank you.